सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड इन दिस सेशन गाइज आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू सम इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द ई एस आई सेक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन एंड गाइज रिमेंबर इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द करंट अफेयर्स टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द करंट अफेयर्स एंड थ्री क्वेश्चन विल बी फ्रॉम द गाइज स्टैटिक पोर्शन और राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर Uh, do subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon and also you can join this telegram group for daily quizzes and updated information about the daily sessions aur iska link aapko description mein mil jayega okay so let's begin with the very first question for today dr harshvardhan has recently reviewed the progress made under ayushman bharat uh, which is pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana and national health digital mission so with respect to the progress made under pm jay you have to identify the correct statements okay so pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana ayushman bharat i have covered in very much detail in the government scheme session if you have not uh, if you want to cover that scheme you can watch the government scheme session of ayushman bharat all right here we will only talk about the progress that has been made under the ayushman bharat till now and we all know ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana was launched by prime minister modi okay so now let's talk about this uh, review process of dr harshvardhan dr harshvardhan ne review kiya tha and talking about the national digital health mission so guys it was uh, launched very, uh, very recently uh, around 3 4 months back it was launched so <coughs> iska koi bahut lamba choda review nahi hai it's just ki dr harshvardhan has said that its pilot project is going well and in future uh, we can expect its national roll out okay so in around 3 months the mission has made a significant progress in its pilot project in six uts of andaman and nicobar chandigarh dadra and nagar haveli and damandiu ladakh lakshadweep and puducherry and remember if you remember puducherry's puducherry airport is now a, a uh, airport authority of india's first airport which is now 100% solar powered okay so <clears throat> nbhm ka jo progress hai usme koi zyada review mein hame padhne ki zarurat nahi hai Let's talk about the progress made in Ayushman Bharat. So currently, 32 states and UTs are implementing Pradhan Mantri Jan Aarogya Yojana. Delhi में अभी नहीं है. Delhi में आने वाला है बहुत जल्दी. Hospital admissions 1.4 crore हो चुके हैं अब तक under this scheme. Uh, and the amount authorized for admissions it is 7,535 crores. Hospital impanelled total how much? 24,653. And with a ratio of public ratio private for 54 ratio 46. so overall there are 24653 hospitals which are now empanelled under the pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana and out of this number the ratio is how much for uh, 54 ratio 46 okay total e cards issue how much 12.7 crores and moving ahead portability cases is how much 1.5 lakh there are 14 hospitals admissions per minute under the pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana 13 beneficiaries verified per minute and 8 hospitals get are getting impaneled under the scheme per day ek din mein 8 hospitals aise hain jo impanel ho rahe hain under the pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana all right so the scheme is going very well and guys remember you have to remember all the all these facts because the government is promoting very aggressively uh, uh, this scheme okay so you have to remember the progress you never know question isme se aa sakta hai okay so that's about that was about this uh, progress now let's talk about this question you have to identify the correct statements so currently 32 states or uts are implementing pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana yes this is absolutely correct and can you tell me uh, which states are not implementing pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana write down in the comments delhi mein abhi aane wala hai abhi aaya nahi hai so remember delhi is one of the state jahan aur ut jahan pe ye implement nahi hua hai so write down in the comments the name of other states or uts where pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana has not been implemented okay eight hospitals are getting impaneled per day this is absolutely correct and total 12.7 crores e cards have been issued this is also correct guys which means option e <coughs> all are correct should be the correct answer to this question all right and now let's move on to the question number 2 so consider the following statements regarding the report renewables 2020 so this report guys has been launched by international energy agency and identify the correct statements so you have to identify the correct statements regarding this uh, renewables 2020 report that has been released by the international energy international energy agency and this report analyzes the usage pattern of renewable energy by the year 2025 2025 tak 
2025 के आने तक जो हमारा रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी का यूसेज का जो पैटर्न होगा दिस हैज बीन एनालाइज बाय दिस रिपोर्ट विच इज टाइटल्ड एज रिन्यूएबल 2020 एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द की हाईलाइट सो ग्लोबल एनर्जी डिमांड विल रिड्यूस बाय 5% बट रिन्यूएबल्स दैट इज यूज्ड फॉर जनरेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विल ग्रो बाय 7% दिस ईयर बाय द एंड ऑफ 2020 द रिन्यूएबल्स विच आर यूज्ड फॉर जनरेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विल ग्रो बाय 7% ऑलराइट इंक्रीज ऑफ 1% इन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी डिमांड इन द ईयर 2020 नेट इंस्टॉल्ड रिन्यूएबल कैपेसिटी विल ग्रो बाय 4 परसेंट इन दर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एंड टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट दिस रिपोर्ट सोलर पीवी फोटो वोल्टेक्स अलोन अकाउंट्स फॉर सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ ऑल रिन्यूएबल कैपेसिटी एडिशन बाय टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाईलाइट ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट इज दैट हाइड्रो पावर विल कंटिन्यू टू बी द लार्जेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ रिन्यूएबल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉलोड बाय विंड एंड सोलर एनर्जी ओके सो हाइड्रो पावर जो है वो सबसे बड़ा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर होगा रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी का सो दिस पॉइंट गाइज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया स्पेसिफिक हाईलाइट सो इस रिपोर्ट में इंडिया के बारे में भी बताया गया है कि जो इंडिया का रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी यूसेज का पैटर्न है उसके बारे में कुछ जानकारी दी गई है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस इंडिया इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डेवल इट्स ग्रीन एनर्जी एडिशन कैपेसिटी बाय द नेक्स्ट ईयर अगले साल तक जो हमारा ग्रीन एनर्जी का एडिशन का कैपेसिटी है वो डबल होने वाला है बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट ने बहुत सारी स्कीम्स लॉन्च कर दी हैं टू बूस्ट अप द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ओके इन 2021 द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एडिशन कैपेसिटी विल बी नियरली 10 परसेंट विंड कैपेसिटी एडिशन आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू ड्रॉप 60 परसेंट बाय द एंड ऑफ 2020 ये विंड कैपेसिटी का जो एडिशन है हमारा वो कम हो रहा है बिकॉज गाइज विंड कैपेसिटी जो जो विंड एनर्जी फार्म होते हैं दे आर क्वाइट एक्सपेंसिव गवर्नमेंट इज अग्रेसिवली फोकसिंग ऑन द सोलर एनर्जी राइट In the first half of 2020, new solar PV capacity installations in India were 70% below than the average first half growth of the previous three years. So, because of COVID and other some issues, we are uh, you know dropping down. We are dropping down with the targets. But yes, we will definitely achieve all the targets in the near future. And we have a target to achieve one to produce 175 gigawatt of renewable energy by the year 2022. Okay. so this was about this report and now let's come back to the question so what is the question we have to identify the correct statement regarding this report global energy demand will reduce by 5% but renewables used for generating electricity will grow by 7% in 2020 that is the most important point guys from this report and this is of course the correct statement in india wind capacity additions are expected to drop by 60% by the end of 2020 as compared to 2019 this is also correct and hydro power will continue to be the largest source of renewable energy electricity worldwide followed by wind energy and solar energy so this third statement is also absolutely correct which means option e all are correct will be the correct answer all right and now these were the two questions from the current affairs part now let's talk about three questions from the static part okay and let's talk about this question so you have to arrange the following organizations in the chronological order of their establishment matlab ki jab जो सबसे बाद में स्टैब्लिश हुआ था हमें उसको पहले लगाना और फिर आगे बढ़ना है ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ऑल दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नबार्ड इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश इन द ईयर 1982 से भी इट वाज एस्टैब्लिश इन द ईयर 1988 बट इट गॉट इट्स स्टैच्यूटरी स्टेटस इन द ईयर 1992 आफ्टर द सेबी एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन ओके एरेडाई वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन दर नाइनटीन बैंक बोर्ड ब्यूरो इट वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन टू while the first time rrbs were established in the on uh, 2nd of october 1975 so sabse purana kaun hai 1975 uh, matlab option number 5 then we have uh, nabard 1982 51 then we have sebi 1992 which means 512 and then we have erdai that's option number 3 512 2 34 should be the correct answer which means option a Will be the correct answer. And Nabard chairperson guys is Govinda Chintala Rajulu Sebi Zaje Tyagi Erdai Shivas Chandra Kuntia. And you have to tell me the chairperson name of the chairperson of Bank Boards Bureau. Okay. So, iska ye 2016 mein hi banaya gaya tha Bank Boards Bureau. Or iska ek basic function bhi aapko likhe batana in the comments. What is the basic function of Bank Boards Bureau? And who is the current chairperson of it? Okay. And RRB is to guys bahut saare hai. Uske kisi ek ka chairperson nahi ho sakta. Okay. And this is the question number four. A program was launched by Ministry of Education in the year 2016. So it is a program or a scheme-based question. So 
in this type of question you have to identify the scheme and you should know that uh, there are some hints which are which are already provided in this passage okay so aapko ye pata hona chahiye aapko hints identify karna aana chahiye so a program was launched by ministry of education so how can you identify the hints that has been provided so the ministry is given okay ministry of education in the year 2016 which means the launch year is also given theek hai ministry given hai launch year given hai all right to create awareness about digital economy and cashless transactions all right the ministry is given the launch year is given and also the basic objective is given under the program government engages students of higher educational institutions to encourage and motivate all payers and pays so that they can promote the digital uh, payment and you have to identify the program so अगर आपको बेसिक नॉलेज भी है इस प्रोग्राम के बारे में सो यू कैन इजीली आइडेंटिफाई द स्कीम ओके द स्कीम आई होप यू विल बी नाउ एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्कीम ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज व्हाट विशाखा ऑप्शन बी विशाखा हेयर इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड विशाखा स्टैंड्स फॉर वित्तीय साक्षरता अभियान और राइट वित्तीय साक्षरता अभियान वित्तीय मीन्स फाइनेंशियल वित्तीय मीन्स फाइनेंशियल एंड साक्षरता मीन्स वॉट लिटरेसी सो फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी कैंपेन इन इंग्लिश वी कैन से एंड इन हिंदी इट इज वित्तीय साक्षरता अभियान और इन शॉर्ट इट इज विशाखा सो एवरीथिंग इज गिवन इन दिस पैसेज यू जस्ट हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्कीम एंड मार्क दी आंसर एंड देन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अ स्कीम टू प्रोवाइड स्कॉलरशिप टू नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो दिस स्कीम इज जस्ट फॉर द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टूडेंट दिस Uh, hint is a very big hint that is already given in this passage and it is a scholarship scheme okay whose parental income is less than rupees 4.5 lakh per annum so it is for those students whose parental income is less than uh, rupees 4.5 lakh per annum it was launched in 2014 launcher is given by the ministry of education so the ministry is also given the implementing agency for the scheme is university grants commission sab kuch given hai sab kuch given hai is scheme ke bare mein there is not a single information that has been left everything is given so you have to identify the scheme so if you have read once about this scheme so you can easily identify this scheme was launched in the year 2014 by the ministry of education which is currently headed by dr ramesh pokhariyal nishank to provide scholarship to the northeastern students and to those students whose parental income is less than 4.5 lakhs per annum all right and guys let me tell you this scheme is what ishan uday option c ushan Uday will be the correct answer, and there is a very similar scheme uh, for the northeastern students. Uh, uh, similar sounding scheme, and the scheme is what Ishan Vikas. Okay, and this is to facilitate the interaction between the northeastern students uh, and the professors and the educators from the higher educational institutions of our country, the premier institutes basically IITs, IIMs, IISCRs. Okay, and it was also launched in the year 2014 by the Ministry of Education. and its coordinating agency guys is iit guwahati iit guwahati all right so for this question the correct answer is uh, option c ishan uday okay and guys that's it for the session i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching milte hain kal ke session mein goodbye take care and god bless